Tēnā koutou nau mai ki te tau tuawha o Hunting Aotearoa. Ko tēnei te hōtaka mahi aruaru tahi a te matua me te tama. Ka tīmata i te kaihautu waka topa topa nō rotu rua a Tim, laua ko tana tama Jonathan. He whaiwhai tia te mahi ki te wāhi e ki ana ko Tree Top Slouch. Ka tahi, ka aruaru tahi māua ko taku pāpā ki rua tāhuna. Nō rēra kia mau tonu mai mō ngā mahi oho Māori o tēnei hōtaka o Hunting Aotearoa. Kei roto i tēnei wāhanga kua huri te ihua te waka ki taku ukai pō ki roto rua. Kua tahuri te waka o Hunting Aotearoa i tēnei wā ki rua tāhuna. Mau mau kai, mau mau taonga, mau mau tangata ki te pō. Ai, e whānau, kua tai mai anō tātou ki te rohe tūturu a tūhoi e ngari. Ki tēnei wā, kua tai mai maua, ko tōku pāpā. Hei te. Kua rā, 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 kua Good to have you uh, here, Dan. Good to have you um, volunteer. Or, um... No, it's my pleasure. Always, always love coming back to Ruatahu. The place is getting more metropolitan all the time. Tar Seal now. Beautiful buildings. But, you know, the atmosphere is still the same. The spirituality of this place. Te Koti used to come through here, Rua Tanana. Dad Timueta, of course, was very well known and worked with the people here of Tuhue. And when I come here, I feel on it. Mm. There's a lot of people out there that don't realise that you're brought up here in deer colour. Well, they know, don't need to, but we're going to tell them about that. <laughs> hey, they have a pahu pahu. Oh, well. Pahu one and pahu two. Bit of a tippy hardy? Oh, I think so. Okay, let's go. By walk or by what? Oh, we're going to jump on that walk, I think. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> He pai ki te rongo i nei kōrero mo te wae tupu wake ana taku pāpa i kona i te urawera. Ki taku mōhio, he ua 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 rā, engari, ka tupu wake te te maiti i roto i te kuare mōera au huatanga, nā, ka rapu oranga anō pē taku pāpa i roto i nei mahi, arā, te whaiwhaitia. Any memories, eh, Dad? Hey? About ten years of age I was here, son. Parahaki, parahaki. Whenua Tupu, and I remember it because there were so many deer that used to abound these these clearings. They, of course, were oppressed in those days, and um, many many fine hunters came came here that I was able to learn off, and to come back after all this time. Wow, man, that's uh, 60 years. Here you are, and you all grown up. Mm. <laughs> I'm, a so, I'm a so called hunter now. Hey? Oh, you do all right. You do all right, man. What about, the, what about the, old, the early days, yeah? the old school days? I mean, there's a few hard days, hard stories you told me about. Well, only because, you know, I came here as a Rotorua Pākehā, not knowing the language, which is an embarrassment and frustrating because when I went to the college uh, school, I was, in, I was in the era where, you know, you got the strap. People talk about it, but I was, I was there and part of it. What made it worse for me, though, was that I was getting it from the uh, from the bullies at the school. There weren't too many, but um, they couldn't believe that I was a Maori. Pākehā Maori, a pīhi mahuna no lotoru wake. And I was getting the strap at the same time, because that's, that's the era when Maori was not to be spoken on the school grounds. But my dad did something about that. He marched up to see the principal and said, look, my fault, my wife's fault, that we haven't taught our son, and um, we don't want him to suffer the indignity of being frustrated by the fact that he's isolated because he can't speak the language. So they changed the rules for me, <laughs> and I went from zero to hero. And you had your own business when you ate. 
Yeah, well, I went, uh, went there at eight uh, milking the cows, Daisy and Betty. <laughs> and I used to have a little tin full of um, a billy full for the postmaster, the ranger, Sister Annie, the great Sister Annie who came here, 18 year old uh, sister as a virgin, uh, and left as an 80 something, uh, still a virgin, but a wonderful um, milestone in the history of. Um, bringing religion to, um, to Earth Island. Sister Annie, I am the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is This place was like an adventure playground for me, like a theme park. I was able to shoot my first deer at 11, which was a hoot, because, you know, you couldn't miss There's so many deer around almost just point the rifle in the middle of them and you might get something. Um, I became more refined as time went on. Became a um, unregistered deer colour for internal affairs. Ten bob a tail and two bullets. So that helped me also through uh, college. Ruatahuna will always remain an indelible part of my, my life. And I hope you will carry on the tradition. The tradition is very, very important to me, son, because Maori here on, on the courtyards of the Great Pai Pai of the Matatua Paramount Marae um, in Ruatahuna, when they see me, they greet me as the son of Tim Werner Morrison the first, in our side anyway, and because uh, he did so much for the people here in farms and that. So to be here with you, son. You know, we brought you up nice and slow to do all this fishing and hunting. You've got the most popular program on Maori television. <laughs> right? right. <laughs> I do the ratings for you. Yeah. Yeah. To make it our papa, if I can eat, cover the matau here at papa to Nakaru, ah, caro atu matau king up in all the Uruera, menga kai mahi wahura adventures, kitarapu kai mota kapata. Well, Gilda, 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 can't keep away from the place. Gilda. Hey, Mary Ann. Oh, Gilda. Away from uh, uh, being the uh, neighbours at Rotorua and Yeah. Mm. I thought I'd bring the chief back this time. Yeah, no, good. Excellent. Then I bought it. Hello, head off for a hunt. Yep. Yep. I'm going to grab the rifle and get changing. See you in five minutes. Give me ten, I have to put my makeup on. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Ita ta moa ta katima ta te kopata pata. Engari ka fai wahi a papa ki ta paka hoki mahara ia ia e hikoyana. Bring him back a few memories with the old man. He's a hand up here. Forty, fifty years ago. Twenty-seven deer in one month. So I hope I don't miss him from the old fella. I think he's just here to check my eye out. Ko hari ano matau a kato ko waka te fakaro kiroti a papa kia fakatika te puhi o taku pu. The old fella's just gonna try and line my rifle up because I'm sure it's been firing to the left. All right. I knew it wasn't my eye, so I just adjusted the, uh, the scope a bit to the left. Hopefully, right in the middle. There's the first one. So I moved it over a bit, there's a second one there. It's about Two more clicks, two more clicks to the left should be right. Feel a bit better now. The old man couldn't even edit. Katahi ka whakatika i ata pua Richard Wairua Hurae Adventures. Oh we, ki te a wanga wanga pea i a mō māua. Ka whakarita a Richard i a i a anō ki te pūpuhi. Lifted it off. Did it? Yeah. 
sure. Now. Oh, well done, son. Now I went for a bigger target. And there it is there. That's the proof of the pudding. A 72-year-old eye from about 300 yards, was it? That is some weapon, right? Eh? Now this guy here knocked the top. Look at that. Wow. Take that back and frame it. Ka hoki ano ki te mahi aru aru me ngā whiu ngā tāwhiri mātea. Ā, kua puta hoki ngātia. Me rapu tātou i tētahi he puhinga mā pāpā. Whakaaro ake a pāpā kia noho tonu ki roto taraka. Ā, ka riro mā kūta mahi whaiwhai, engari ki hai mātou i hua i tēnei wā. Oh, that's close enough to the neck. Not bad, buddy. I think you're actually dying of old age, really. Poor thing. Let us have a karakia, I think, mate. They ran here for a while. Yeah. Nice sweet grass. Yeah. That's all the best. That's all the best. Yeah, that's all the best. So, I tell you what, those other ones that ran off, V8 motors with those two spikers. Well, actually, it all happened quite suddenly. The tone tone is still in the eye, still got moi in the eyes. But we saw two spikers, another three hinds. Another hind and then this young spiker here within the space of uh, 200 metres. But uh, Dad said they'd be out because they haven't had a rain out here for a couple of months, first bit of rain, so they're all out here, here out in the open eating the old sweet grass, as old Dad would say. Actually, this is real hard hunting, you know. <laughs> Four-wheel drive, real stalking in the 21st century. This poor thing never had a chance. So lucky we eat tonight. Have you ever tried a casserole, a back steak, put a bit of curry in it, some garlic? I don't know where we can get the garlic this place, but uh, we'll try our best. Maybe some fern root? But anyway, that's the first dead deer I've seen for quite some time. Hey, adventures, i roto i te uruera mō mātou ko tōku pāpā tā Howard Morrison. Ko te tumanako, kia pai te noho a te tia ki. He mihi nunui ki tōku pāpā mō nā kōrero, kā mau maharau i tēnei haere ngā tātou mō ake tonu atu. Kā nui taku aroha mō e pā. Beautiful soprano. At the whānau once again, Ahure Adventures came to the party. Thanks to our whānau Richie and Mary Ann for being our host again. And a special thanks to my dad over here for taking us on a little trip down memory lane. Hey, can't wait, son. Can't wait, can't wait. And you got the whānau. Final word for yeah. me. Yeah. And you. It's Tenakwe from him, Kia from me, and Heikona from them. Whai ai a mātou a tērā wiki i au, e a kuana ki te pūpuhi mārunga waka topa topa i te taho o te tohunga mau pua Phil Wright. Mai i reira, ka haere mātou ki te tūwheratango o te tau raki raki me tawara nikau me a natu ngāne. How many reckon you shot so far of the series? Oh, I think she, uh, she heard rumours that the old cameraman from Pigalala has been shooting all these deer. <laughs> <laughs>